What's up guys? Uh, my name is Will Carmack and today I will be showing you how to do a neon light animation. I'm doing this tutorial in lieu of my most recent short film. I used the neon light animation in the beginning and I also used that in the beginning of the best film I've ever made, which is Star Wars in Rome. And that neon light animation was sick. <laughs> So first things first, you're actually gonna open up Adobe Illustrator. And now that you're in Adobe Illustrator, just make a, a sign design. I just did this open one, very universal. Added my own little flair to it. I won't go heavy into how to do this, but just use the pin tool, maybe some text, make the strokes really small, like one to three, and bam, you've created the skeleton to a neon sign. Uh, the most important part about this Illustrator process is actually in the layers panel. Each piece of your design should be in its own layer because we will be bringing this Adobe Illustrator file into After Effects. So go to File, Save As, and then just save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. I've already saved it, so now we can hop into After Effects. And we can bring in our sign. So just drag that into your project. You're gonna import kind as composition and footage dimensions as layer size. Bam. Double click on it, so now you have all of your layers and they're all Adobe Illustrator files. We don't want that, that limits your range. So right click, go to create and convert to shape vector layers. And now let's delete every single one of our Adobe Illustrator files. Great, now we have our sign in Adobe After Effects. Also really quick, go over to your project panel and make sure that you're editing on a 32 bits per channel. And if you're not, you can just change that by clicking it. Now, select every single one of your layers and pre-compose it and call it Neon Base. We're actually going to duplicate this layer and add the blending mode to add. Next step is to go over to your effects panel and type in Gaussian and drag the Gaussian blur on top of your neon base. And we're actually going to rename this to Glow. So now on your Glow layer, turn the blurriness up. And as you can see, you can see a bit of a glow starting to form. Now duplicate that into Glow 2 and just play with the Gaussian blur. See what you can come up with. It's all like personal preference, but once it starts to look a little glowy, you're actually gonna duplicate this a third time. From there, what I usually do is once I have the blurriness, I'll go through each one, hit T to open up opacity, and just play around with the opacity of each layer. Now take Glow 3, duplicate that, but actually get rid of your Gaussian blur effect. Come over to Effects and Presets, and there's an effect called Fill you can drag on top of it. Let's solo this layer and see what that does. It changes everything to one color, and we're gonna come over here and change that to white because the middle of a neon light is usually lighter than the rest of it. And so now if we unsolo that, we can see the, the middle of this is white, but it's too big. So to make that smaller, come over to effects and presets and type in simple choker. Let's put that on that, that glow layer that we will rename to uh, center. Drag center below all the glows. And now for the simple choker, let's just drag that down a little bit. So the centers are white. That looks pretty good. And also, I think everything could be a bit brighter. So let's put an exposure effect on the first glow. I like that, that looks really neat. And so if you just put an exposure effect onto one of them, it usually brightens them all up and it looks really pretty. And so now we're gonna duplicate our Glow 3 layer one more time. And this time we're actually gonna switch it from horizontal and vertical to just horizontal. And if you drag that blurriness up, you'll see that now it's creating some light leaks off of the sign, which I think looks so sick. Now play around with that. See how many little light leaks you want. Usually I make them kind of big, but then turn the opacity down. So it's like they're, they're kind of coming off the edges. Let's rename this to horizontal and then duplicate horizontal and, and change this one to vertical. And now just do the same thing, but do it vertical. So now you have vertical and horizontal streaks coming out of the lights, like how you would see light with your own eyeball. Basically just play around with it until you're happy with how it looks. And basically that's it, you have your neon light. But one key feature of a neon light is the fact that they flicker. And so we're gonna hit Command A, select everything and pre-compose that. 
let's just name this new layer Flickr. So now everything is in its own little pre-composed. And now let's drag the exposure effect on top of that. So hold down the Alt key and click the exposure keyframe. What that does is it gives you a little option down here to write code in. Um, these are called expressions and the expression we will use is called wiggle. So type in wiggle parentheses 20 comma four parentheses. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the exposure effect flicker 20 times within, oh wait, this is important, not four, point four. So it's gonna flicker 20 times in the span of one fourth of a second. So let's click off of that and if you hit play, you can see what that looks like. And there you go. Now you have a flickering neon sign that I think looks pretty realistic. I hope you liked it and I hope you can hear that my laptop is overheating now. Please check out the short film I posted before this tutorial. It's a Black Mirror inspired Star Wars film. So there's lots of cool special effects it's really fun to watch and I appreciate you guys for tuning into this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful or if I talk too fast or just if, if there's anything that makes this process less educational, let me know because I'm open to criticism. And we got a sponsor, thank God, because this apartment is expensive. Today's sponsor is the illustrious, incredible Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, there's nothing you can't do with Squarespace. I mean, this is kind of crazy, but Squarespace is no stranger to awards. They have 24-hour award-winning customer service. So you get to talk to real people instead of robots. And they have award-winning designer templates to make sure that your customizable website looks pristine. Squarespace empowers people with creative ideas to succeed, and that's why I love them. They're helping me succeed. So use squarespace.com slash willcarmack for 10% off your first domain. Top link in the description below. And don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.